Let's see if everything is working. Phone's muted. Tired of waiting. So I thought I'd just come on early and get everything going. It's just one of those things. Person gets tired of sitting and waiting, I guess. Hi, Charlotte. Oh, forgot to turn my volume off on this. And what's Charlotte up to today? And off. And of course, like we always fiddle with on Kathy's, we have little mis errors that don't come up. Hi, Donna Dixon. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, so Terry. No game yet, Kathy. And I did mail Kathy her stuff. Uh, but it's like I put the, I even figured out how to change the picture on the front. And Bailey has full access to, which she's got to say hello. Come here, Bailey. Tell everybody hi. There you go. She's already been out for a walk <laughs> and she's got wet feet. That's it, Bailey. She has full access. I'm getting all this stuff set up here. Yeah, she had. I now have mud on me, <laughs> but it's like I wash. And hello, Nancy. Yeah, but today we're going to do Aunt Nancy's favorite, the 12 inch block, because Kathy's on vacation from YouTube. She's not going anywhere. She's staying home, watching baseball, working on her. Okay, Susan. It was glad you came on. Sometimes the replay's better. I don't know how long it's going to take or anything, but Aunt, Aunt Nancy's block looks like kind of a stop, a, a stop sign. So there's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight sides. But I was noticing if a person wants something different, they can change the corner if you want something a little different. Then you would have a star. You would definitely have a star because where my green is would be points. So I'm just showing for if someone wants to do something a little different. So if you place these four corners in backwards, you'll have a star. There we go. See, just by switching those four corners, you see the giant star. It's like, got to go up a little higher. There we go. I'm going to do it just like the block says. But last night when I was cutting these out, I was looking and seeing where you could place it differently. Okay, it's raining here and everything hurts, but I'm going to sew up on my cotton cuts. And then she's saying, hi, Kathy, all the way over there on vacation. Stay, staycation. But it's like, this is what we got. I'll turn 
this down a little bit. Oh, better put my laptop back on the box. So you can see the block. Hi, Valerie. It just showed everybody how you can make this into a a star looking. It, it'd be an unusual star because it would only have four points, but it still looked like a star. Hi, Gladys. Yeah, it's going to be a, a colorful stop sign. <laughs> and everybody's saying their hellos. And then Terry wants to know, Kathy, did you read the email I sent you? Did you print it out and read it? That'd be the other good thing. Hi, Gayla. Hi, Carrie. Carry it, and I just was over at Nancy, our treasured home's birthday party thing. We got there late, but yes. Donna Armstrong, hi Sandra, and everyone in the chat. And glad everybody could join today. Rearranging some of my trays still. Because I shouldn't. It's like, I don't know. I shouldn't need anything. And she, and she printed it. Good girl, Kathy. Don't lose it. Keep it with your cotton cut clues. If you have to get a bigger envelope, get a bigger envelope. Or a Ziploc bag or a storage box. That's probably what you're going to need. To put it over in one of those storage. But I forgot. I was going to do one thing before. I, is my alarm going to go off again? I go, go turn on one. Turn off one alarm. Because I, I set myself up for all the lives. But it's like, let everybody get their hellos in and out. It's like, thank you, D. Much, Casey, Terry. Thank you so much, Terry. <laughs> Is that what it's supposed to say? And and guess who Nancy says hi, Sandra. Okay. And there, it's all turned off. Okay, that's what I thought. It's so, being she did three letters, you look at the key keys on the thing and it's like, yep, they're side by side right there. You can write so if you do drag typing, it's not hard to write so. But as Cassie will say, her fat fingers. Oh, that's the other thing. Check to see if I have a bobbin. That's what I didn't do last night. Wind me a bobbin. Oh, we're going to start. I'm going to start sewing the block. And... It says in the first thing, I'm going to make the eight half square triangles, which are the cor the four corners and the middles. 
and they're all the same. I'm going to go ahead and just start grabbing some and putting them together. Sew them at the quarter inch. And I always sew at the scant quarter. Because that's just me. And then for those that need to know, four and a half, I think, is what they have to be trimmed to. I didn't make any ahead of time, so. I'm just pulling the pieces out. Good morning, Karen. Glad you could make it. We're all used to this time zone. Because Kathy would have started normally. Oh, she's getting a break. And it, is my sewing machine too loud? Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Lily Pop. It's like, Trying to remember her name. Um, bum, 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 bum. It's written down somewhere. Lily Pop Love is just starting out on hers. And she just reached 500, I think it was. And she's supposed to be doing, she did one live with Sean. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Tessa. She did, Sean, the guy who sews, she did one of those early morning get-togethers with him. He helped promote her channel. I met her this uh, winter. She opened the Missouri Star Christmas Advent Box. That's how I met her. It popped up in my chat. When, and when Kathy was missing a piece, I knew she was missing a piece. And that, I think that's how. It's because Denise... Her name's Denise. Opened up hers. Everybody's still saying their hellos. Means I got eight of these to chain together. I got one, two, three, four done. Halfway there on these ones. But you just... Line them all up nice and even. It's like we all cut a little different. So if you have little edges, it's fine. Hey, Tessa, I snuck in on work break. Can't stay but at a second. But it's like, that's fine. Then it's like, you at least snuck in on a break. We have a couple people that work. And listen and they listen yeah uh, it's like she keeps uh, buying more fabric she's got the fabric addiction going it's like it is a thing it is a, an addiction because we always see something else that we want but the one thing we forget to buy the most is our background. What we need is our background. I have an earbud in. I'm at work also, says Karen. See? And then if there's something interesting, you can always go back and... Guessing saying hi, Karen. It's like I'm gonna go grab a 
if I can. If I can find it. There. Copy. Go back over to mine. And there is Lily Pop Love's YouTube channel. If everybody want, wants to go subscribe, she would enjoy it. She's climbing faster than I am. I'm not trying to climb, really. But it's like... She, it's like, I think she does a sew Sunday. She'll sew something and records it. Oh, it's like, don't let anybody know I'm sweet. Come on. <laughs> Ruining my reputation. Cassie's probably laughing right now. Okay, Melinda, Melinda subscribe to her. When I need to sew something on Sunday, about the time I say, come on, somebody post something. That's when Denise does. And then I'll listen to it going, I wish you would go live and we could sew together. That way she could read the chat and... Because she hunts for a subject. It's like. <laughs> and Kathy was laughing at that. I knew she would. We have a fun group, Denise. It's like. Kathy is normally on. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, I teach a block on hers. But she's on a staycation because she's one of these baseball junkies is what I call them. My husband would be in there. And so she's on a vacation while opening season's starting. So she, she took a break. Hi, Denise. But now I have to press these open. As soon as my iron wakes up, I thought I woke it up, but it's like. Yeah, it's like we know it's thirsty if I'm on. Whether it be Kathy's or here. And I'm going to try to fill in some of her times on all next week. But I'm not doing a, a long Monday. Kathy normally stays on from 10 to 5 or 6. Depends on when she peters out or dinner served. But it's just me. And it's a little harder to do that long with just me. You guys would have to have my sign hanging here. Oh, one of the baseball opening games was canceled today due to rain. And which one was that, Valerie? But my husband, if he was... He understood them because he had friends that was the sports buffs. And of course, when you work with them, they teach you. Oh, I'm freezing up. Oh, it's like, let's, let's hope it 
quits. Hi, Carol. Okay. The New York Mets. Oh, no. That's usually one of the big teams, isn't it? That everybody's looking forward to. One thing about freezing up now, I can't just up and take off like I used to and come back in. So if I freeze up, it's like be patient. I'm going to move this up to the top for a moment so I can square up the blocks. Again, it's not showing up on mine because I have two things going. It's like, I don't understand because my other one's showing just fine. Hi, Darlene. It's like, I don't know how or what I can do. I don't, I don't, I don't. We have those issues and it's like, what do we do? Okay. And I wonder if it has anything to do with Avista's moving wires on poles. Our power company is out here. Okay. It's like. These will be trimmed to three and a half. Oh, yeah, that would be right. These are trimmed to three and a half inches. I still see and hear you on my phone, but my screen is black except for the chat. I wonder why. Because I'm seeing everything here. And that's one good thing about, for me, where I have two. Because I can tell you, on the other, when I go live, the chat's in black and white and it's harder to read. Or on my tablet, it's white background with black letters. So I'm trimming these to three and a half inches. But Austin, he come over and walk Bailey because Avista was outside beating on the pole and he couldn't get to sleep. So I'm just going to sit these back up on the board. I guess I better not sit them in the corner because I'm balanced up there. Yeah, the half square triangles are three and a half, Valerie. I was going to put one together last night to have that measurement already, but then it's like, because it's done as a, what do they call it, a 12, 12 patch or 16 patch, it would be three and a half. All of the sub cuts will be three and a half. I get this ruler down the right way. I'm still adjusting to the ruler a couple things. Which end needs to be for what I'm doing. But anybody that watches me, they know that I like 
always to have something to trim. So I cut the, I think they said two and seven eighths. I always cut to three. And then I'd rather trim a little off than not have a right size block. That's the way I've always been. I don't think I'm going to change. And cutting those three and seven eighths. That's what I'm cutting off one side. Okay, Laura is homesick still. What a way to spend your birthday. She just woke up a little bit ago. When you work in a facility where germs are everywhere. I was glad when they uh, when COVID made it to where you couldn't go in the hospital and see the new babies, even though I wanted to go see my new grand, great grandbabies. But it's better that they stay well. And then Melinda got to go up and see Kate in the hospital. That was the only one she got to go see. The rest you had to wait till they came home. So our our great grandkids can grow up someday and say, I was born in the COVID era where it was just me, mom, and dad. I was it in the room. <laughs> Grandma and grandpas and great grandma and grandpas could not come and visit me. But I always try. It's it's hard. But I'd like to have them spend some time with the with their own kid to get together to adjust. I I had my when I had my kids. My mother in law wanted to keep Melinda when I had Ronnie, and it's like, no, I give they're mine. She's mine. I give birth to. Her. Well, you need a rest. No, I don't. I need to adjust to this family of three, four. We all had to adjust and get used to each other. Nobody volunteered when I had Casey. I moved away. So my brother was, my little brother came up. And he says, after he watched the two girls for the day, I'm never having kids. <laughs> so he always married. His first marriage, they, they had no kids, no want, no desire. His second marriage, he ended up having one child. His third marriage, she had three kids. And they still call him dad. And their kids call him grandpa. But he has one son. And I don't know how well they get along because mom took off, I think, when he was two years old with him. He always had some of the best marriages. My oldest brother has been married. Is this his fourth one? And they adopted her granddaughters. The daughter did something that she lost them to the system. And then they ended up adopting them. So when they should be retiring, they're raising grandkids. He did go to work for a while, but then it was where he worked, didn't have the medical 
for the girls. So she went to work for Walmart because they have insurance for everybody available. So he's home, retired. He's the caretaker of the kids. When they get home from school, he's the one that's there. But he's retired, so he has a pension. Nobody's chatted for a little while, so I'm still just squaring these up. Is anybody else doing the block? I know Valerie normally does it. And Darlene that makes the block. Kathy printed the pattern. Last squaring up. And if you, it's like squaring up half bird triangles is the easiest. I do have some three, what, what triple triangle squares coming up. So here's the scraps that I trimmed off of eight blocks. Today's her mom's birthday, taking her out to lunch. Well, tell her happy birthday from, I'm sure, the whole gang. How old is your, how young is your mother going to be today? So I'm going to put these back in the, where they is originally to be. And Don Armstrong, I'm being lazy just watching. That's fine. That is fine. And then these four, just all the white goes to the middle. I'm just going to overlap them up there so I can reach the next. Hi, Jody. Welcome. And thank you. It's like they're fabrics I put up. Several, several years ago to make a, a quilt. Yeah, of course you're doing games and TV. And, but it's, I, I, I put a bundle of these scrap fabrics. I picked my focals. It's this blue background one with the paisley print, and then I have it in yellow. Because when I bought it, I wasn't thinking I should have bought two yards of one fabric as my focal. So I had one yard of this and one yard of the sister. And now it wants me to make those triple triangle blocks, which consist of my lavender, the blue, and the green. And I have to sew all the blue and the greens together first and make a triangle and then add it to the lavender triangle. Yeah. Okay. Just found your channel. New subscriber. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's like, if you want to continue, like, following, I'll be here next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on my off schedule, <laughs> Kathy's probably laughing at this one, too. I've, I'm over on Kathy Quilts and Crafts, all with capital K's, Kathy Quilts and Crafts. It's like... It's not anything to do with the KKK. But Denise's husband worked as patient affairs advocate in the Air Force for 10 years of his 25. Thank goodness he never brought home illnesses. Yeah, it seems like we didn't have as many illnesses then. So 
So I have to watch to make sure I do this correctly. Because if you notice, these are reverse of each other. So there's going to be four of this triangle set. Where the green is on the one side. And then the other one, the green's on the opposite side. So it's like, throw these off the middle. So we have one set of this triangle we put together is this way. And the other one, if I can get it picked up, is this way. So we have to have four of this direction and four of this direction. If you are here, we will be here. Okay. But I I have some different names popping in that, that doesn't go to Kathy's. And this one just found us, but I'm glad she found me. So I just... I set them up over here like they're supposed to be and flip them. And then I'll put them back in the same spot when I get done. It's part of the puzzle because quilting is a puzzle. I have some of my... Hi, Loretta. Okay, I have... Saw you on Kathy's, but just not saw your channel. Okay, Loretta. Well, thank you for joining. I usually do the Thursday block so, and when Kathy needs, a, uh, when she has a question, she usually asks me. But Mondays is her long day, and then she has the shorter ones. And Terry is a regular over on Kathy's, too. So it's Katie Crafts. Hello, Katie. And Mary Webb shows up, I think, on Kathy's. I can't keep everybody's straight. And then we have another gal that's in here, Gladys. See, I just picked those up and forgot which way I picked them up. This way and this way. So I have to sew this side. And Gladys also has a, a Friday channel. The Confident Quilter. If she if she's listening, if, there she goes. Yeah, me. <laughs> But we have fun. There's a whole group of us. Quilters stick together. Okay, so now I'll just sew this two clusters. And then I have to open them up and press them and sit them back in the puzzle. Because it is puzzles. But but I was saying, my one friend that she's 88 this year, she said she never thought she'd ever buy material, cut it up, and sew it back together. And she was, oh, what? Late 60s when I first met her. And she is... Definitely the definition of adult hyperactive. There, if she makes a mistake, oh well, she just sews over it and goes again. She had very few stars that had points because she sewed it at the half inch, and no pattern is designed for the half inch sew. So I had to design some different quilt patterns 
It's like, I'll see if I can go get your name glass. Go to channel. It's like, go to here. Copy. Back over here. And here's Gladys's. It's a double duty job here. And then so Terry, she does, uh, right now she is rebuilding a featherweight, repainting. A featherweight, I should say. Repainting. It's. I say she's our bag maker. Is what I normally say. She loves to make bags. But she's tinkering with vintage. I have no idea who this phone call is. I will ignore it. If it's important. They will. Leave me a message, right? Because I have no idea where 646 area code is. And my phone hasn't rang in days. Thank you, Terry, for putting up yours. Hi, Rowena. Are you feeling better, Rowena? Rowena's been out sick, and she, she's over on, more on Rita's Roost. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. So, I know this one goes over there. Ouch. This is still hot on my fingers. It's... I'm not going to hold them anymore. I, can't, I can't, cannot lie. My hot iron gets hot. Okay. I, I did just fine. You know, I'm stubborn and I will get it figured out. I appreciate you helping. Terry was my first moderator. And see, there's how those blocks all go. Now I have to sew these two triangles. Bailey, you got to say hi again. Okay, hurry up. Yes, Rowena's new and Jody's new. There's several new ones. This is Bailey. This is my grand dog. And she thinks that she's a lap dog at 52 pounds or 53 pounds. She is not a lap dog. Okay, now you have to get down. Get down. No, nope. you can't get up on my lap. You never have, never will. Oh, and Tessa's new. She says, you're a cutie. She's spoiled rotten. I mean, uh, <laughs> she's, she's very quiet. She doesn't bark. She will... Howl occasionally at our, we have a noon fire whistle and the train goes through. And in other words, you don't even know she's here. So now I have a whole bunch of these to put together. There's one, two, or two, four, six, eight. But you got to make sure that you place them where that one color is opposite each other. Yeah, my daughter sold her house, and when she rented an apartment, she couldn't have a dog, and now she's relocating. So until she gets settled, she she's mine still. And Kathy says I'm gonna miss her. Well, I will miss her, but I won't. I will miss her, but I won't miss her. That's like Austin, you know, it was funny when he, hi, Lisa, you're lurking. 
lurking's allowed. But, you know, when Austin put his tongue on that metal ball in the sub-freezing temperatures, it wasn't funny, but it was funny. And he says he was either five or seven. I have to look through the picture today because there's another picture he wants. Hi, Della. It's like she wants, uh, she's saying, hope Kathy's enjoying. Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Lisa. I forgot. It was on my list of things to make sure when you came in. Happy birthday. Another age that I wish I could go back to. I don't think going back to it would help any. Because it's like, that was before my husband was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And I was wondering if I could change anything. But I didn't know you and Nancy from tre our Treasured Home shared birthdays either. And then we have Carrie's birthday coming up on the 29th. Hi, Ramona. It's like, okay, it's not my battery. It's like, I, it, when I hear a chime, I have to check to make sure it's not my battery dying. Well, it's dying as I talk. And I don't know what it is. I've been waiting to hear back from June Hansen. She tried calling me at one o'clock my time. Oh, granddaughter is on Saturday. She stole my thunder. Okay. And see, Carrie Leonard's is on the 29th of... April, is it? Hi, Maritza. Hola. I went over and watched all of the things she went and bought at Ollie's. She come home with quite a haul. She even thought of the neighbor's little boy. That's very sweet of you. And Lisa, are you going to be on at 7 a.m. this Sunday? I'm going to try and set my alarm for that ridiculous time. <laughs> for me. It's only ridiculous for me. It's 7 a.m. for you. I have did it before. I'll do it again. Carrie, was, she was on Nancy, our treasured home. She was here a little bit ago. Okay. Because I have to set my alarm for a little bit earlier than that time to wake up enough to be coherent. In other words, you might have to translate what I type. And then it might only be hello and that's it. <laughs> um, Maritza, uh, Maritza went over to a place called Ollie's. Okay, Lisa, you can lurk. Enjoy your birthday and your work, I guess. At least you don't have to husband fixing dinner tonight or taking you out or just sit back and have a relaxing 
last year of the 50s. I was still working back then. But it's like, that's the way. I think Aldi's. It said uh, Aldi's. O-L-L-I-E-S. So it must be some little place around where she is. But she got quite a few things. Is Rita's mother's birthday in April? I think so. You don't see? Oh, I guess I better do that one thing I need to do. All messages. Because I could be missing somebody. I don't know why you're not seeing it. We have some of the weirdest things happen on these. You'll see somebody just fine and then they disappear. Yeah, I have to cook for myself anymore. Or my son brings in... The, the shrimp and he'll say here mom I brought you birthday dinner and we want garlic shrimp sauteed garlic and butter shrimp so guess who makes it I cook for him usually him my granddaughter her husband and myself well it looks like all the pieces are missing that aren't sewed so I guess that means time to press and do a bunch more trimming. Only uh, lots of times. That's three. Four. Five. So I can put these back up there. <laughs> Didn't know how long this block would take to make. I work so late. I am too tired to go out. Not enough restaurant selections for takeout. It's okay. Yeah, I'm so used to cooking my own birthday dinner. My husband, when he was... We always had to make sure to go out for his... But when it comes to my birthday, it's like, oh, do we have to? Can't we just barbecue? It's like, whatever. But I did get me a can of crushed pineapple and an angel food cake mix. I did go out and do that when I mailed Kathy her hexies. I remembered. Kathy reminded me after we left, but I'd already went. So I'm going to make a pineapple angel food cake. Because there is going to be Melinda in town for a little bit this weekend. Because we have the gender reveal this weekend and it's Easter. And I know she's going to go to see her great grandkids because she got them Easter bags. I'm going to put you on the big screen. Bye. Enjoy, Lisa. And happy birthday again. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these kind of where they're supposed to be. Because these design boards are just that. They're going to have the pieces not sewed. 
balance that back up here. And now I have to trim all of these to three and a half inches. They're a little trickier to square up because you have the additional point to line up. I'll, I'll put you down so you can see what I'm doing for a little bit. It's this way. The black line works better. But when it lines up, this corner, if you lay them this way, this corner will go down into the three and a half corner. That's the easiest way to line them up. So I get this line going on this, the longest stretch, and then I check to make sure that this other piece is close to the three and a half. As close as I can get, which is right there, which there's very, very little to trim. Thank you, Ramona. It's like it still has my purple in it. But when I first bought this print that I'm using, it was going to be for, um, I thought, maybe a future grandkid at the time. Or great grandkid. Because my grandkids were all older. But I always try to have fabrics and quilts and afghans and everything ready. Baby showers. And it's like, I never did get it to that point. And, oh, that goes over there. But I decided to make it into a bigger quilt. And all the blocks on the wall behind me, on the one side of me, they almost lined that up wrong. Flip these while I'm thinking of it. Lining up. And since I got this ruler, I hate to say, my smaller ruler has been put aside because I, I have no chance of trimming off my fingers. <laughs> and I like that option because my fingers was always so close to the, the cutting that I did not like that when I was squaring things up. And then the second flip is very easy because you just line your three and a half up and then you do your trim. It will just sit them in the middle up there. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nancy. See, I must have heard you yelling at me. Because it is easier. The triple triangle square and that's what it's called uh one night when i was on what our day i was on with flora i looked it up to see what it is actually called because i can't call it a triple triangle half square it's called a triple triangle square Every once in a while, I do the research. If not, I'd have another quilt done, another quilt done, even though that's my goal. My goal is not fill my closet, but it's full. I'm going to have to take my clothes out to hang out more projects. Mary Webb says, Gladys, I started yard work yesterday and it started raining. Glad you got yours done. Oh, good job. You got yours done. I have to go mow my backyard with my push mower. And it's a bigger yard. 
that'll be my today because our, our rain is gone. I don't know how Bailey will do with a lawnmower. If she gets near it, I'll just yell at her and she'll move, right? She's not too happy with the vacuum. She always has to have her nose right down there like, what's it doing? Hi, Maureen. Just got in. I was out shopping and my dog. My daughter's neighborhood is crazy. The policeman who was killed in New York lives here in this town. President Trump is coming to the wake. Okay. I think any town anymore. It's like, I keep trying to watch that bridge thing up, from, up at Baltimore, is it? My grandson-in-law, he told me to wait one more week on planting the potatoes. Okay, if. This was this way. I was sitting there clipping and lost my rotation mark. Reading the chat and trimming. He told me, wait one more week, Grandma. And then gives, and then he gives me a pair of his jeans. I mowed mine Saturday. I could hear a deck bearing going out. So I ordered them all. Brother-in-law's coming to replace them. Okay. But I have to go by, for some reason... When you have a gas-powered lawnmower, they need gas. Both the both small triangles and the big triangle. That's called a three-angle uh, three square. Three-triangle square. Because they're all triangles. And that trims down to the three and a half also. Everything trims to three and a half, Valerie. If this was a rally, I would love to see Trump, but out of respect for the fallen officer. Yeah. We just have a lot of crazy people out here, unfortunately. I might be crazy, but not that crazy. Pressing seams. I... Press my seams all to the one side. On here, I press it to the one, tri the biggest triangle. That's the path of least resistance. So on the back, this one here, I press whichever direction. And then, but this, when the two go together, I press to the, the, the biggest triangle. That's that one had the path of least resistance. That's where it wanted to go. And that's a lot of your blocks will tell you where they want to press at. Which direction? And cuz I Marine's a press open person, but I press my seams all one side.
And then when you square them up, you always have the two triangles down in the lower right hand corner and you trim from there because that corner down here where the two colors meet is got to be out at the three and a half. So like when I put it on here, I have some fudge room and then when it gets down to the three and a half, that's where it lines up here. The three and a half is right here in this corner. Then I trim. And all questions accepted. And if I can't figure it out, I will figure it out. And it's like, that's just me. Because we all learn from them. So that's all of them. So now clean up this mess. Which, that's not much trimmings off of eight of those. That's not much trimming at all. If you have a place in lots of birds, they love those to put in their nest. Yeah. Maureen says, if you press open, you need to shorten your stitch length. That is very, very true. So now I have these puzzle pieces that I know, I think the purples line up, or in my case, my purples, and the greens have to be opposite each other. And if I sat these out right, I should be able to just go around The board. Nope. I, I flipped them someplace. There. There. Put this one down here. And this one goes here. That's like. There. You should be able to see that other side now. And this is where. You can play with some of your blocks. It's like if you turn, let's just, we're just going to goof off because we, we're just our hour in. It's like I said I was going to do an hour and we're goofing off. But if you just turn your middles, see it changes the look of the block. I guess I need it up just a little bit. And she says, if you make a mistake and you get out, Jack, it's a lot harder because, yeah. But see, there's so many things that we could flip. Like I, earlier, I showed the corners. Then it gives it a starry look. But th you can come up with your own block. Turn these back. It's like. Because you can even. Just turn half of them. In the middle. So. it This is one of those blocks. If you sew them together wrong. As long as you got the main pieces. And you're consistent. Who says this isn't how the block was meant to be. Because. Right now. I have. Just the four corners I have flipped around wrong. I, I'm fine, Denise, but thank you. But the, the original pattern says the, the background is to be outward. 
And then the other one I was wondering about is if we flipped these around. Oh, wow. There's another block. Just by, re, you know, relocating, repositioning. And see this one here, you have the big square with the green corners. So now I'm going to flip these outward to take that blue off of there. It defines the square. Hi, Jen. Make a pinwheel. Okay. See, there's so many things you can do. So if I put these back like they was originally supposed to be. Let's see if anything... Fascinating comes out of that. Yeah. I'm just flipping them all back like the original pattern, except for the pinwheel in the middle. And then you can call this whatever block. You, you can call it the Aunt Nancy Nancy. <laughs> yeah. If, if that's what you want, it is very easy. The best time to play with it is in this form. You have 16 blocks to sit here and play. Now, I like that pinwheel in the middle. Yeah, we're playing Kaleidoscope. Yes. And see, everybody's probably forgot what the original. The only thing different right now from the original is the pinwheel block. It had the solid white in the middle. And I think I'm liking the pinwheel. But then I can't call it Aunt Nancy. I call it something with Sandra K. Kaleidoscope quilt. Okay. Because here's the original. And there's with the pinwheel. See, it took away. Now it just doesn't look like any old stop sign. Yep. Whether you have just half square triangles or the tri triple triangle. You like the pinwheel too? Hi, Deb. Welcome, welcome. Now I sound like Kathy. Welcome, <laughs> Deb. <laughs> but I do like the, I think I like the pinwheel center better. But it's just one of those things. If we go by the original block. Or do we go. With the, our spin in it. Darlene you going to put the spin in it. When you make it too. I really do like the spin. Yeah. The ones that I was sitting here playing with these, moving them around in different spots, I didn't get near the effect that I liked. Let's see if it works with the pinwheel.
another kaleidoscope. Like, oh, turned it too far. This makes the pinwheel stand out. And it's got a, it's encased in a purple square. That's kind of cool, too. Hi, Vicki McFarlane. I'm sitting here looking at this on the YouTube channel. And this, this makes the pinwheel inside of a square. There are so many different things a person could do with this. But it still has the stop sign shape. Because I don't think it would be as pretty with this out of there now. No, that white draws away from the pinwheel attention. Hello, Miss June Hansen. But it's like, when you get home, okay, Vicky. I turning the white up took away from the pinwheel. But there's so many ways you can turn this. Is Vicky still in the hospital? Kathy says there's two. Yes, that's what I was. Yeah, because when you put this against another one, let's say if we just pulled these over here, you'd get a whole nother block. I might have to cut this out and do another one of these configurations. <laughs> but I, I do like it all goofed up. It's like Aunt Nancy's can also have the AKA kaleidoscope block. Because you can turn it so many different ways. The only thing I can't figure out, I can't relocate these out somewhere. I was trying to figure out if I relocated these and put the purple. But then it's like, no. It's like, don't overthink, right? But there are so many configurations. Yeah. Glad Vicky's getting out of the hospital. It's not a place I would like to be. I remember when I was in there the day before my birthday. That's when I found out I had to have my gallbladder removed. 
I just wanted out. I did not want to spend my birthday in the hospital. One, one place I could think of spending my birthday, but not there. So I think I'm going to keep Aunt Nancy's favorite with the pinwheel in the middle. Even though I like in this too. Because we got the, pin, the square and the square with the pinwheel in the middle of it. But I can't call it Aunt Nancy's if I do too many changes. It's the kaleidoscope. And it's... I know it's just a simple turn after I go around the block a million times. Okay. Well, it's like missed one. Ah. Mm. I'm looking in there to make sure I turned them all back around. Let me take this one real fast. Yes, ma'am. My live. Just about finishing it. What's up? Oh, your lab's done. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. I can in about an hour. Okay. Let me know if that works. Um, okay. Bye. Got to go babysit the kids in about an hour. Can't refuse phone calls when it involves great grandkids. But it's like, I'm going to just sew it in this pattern. I'm going to keep the pinwheel. I think it just brightens it up a lot more. And so now I got to sit this down because I sew it as a, on a, on the web. So I have to be able to pick them up just from here, but we'll see how long my thread lasts. I thought I had one more gray bobbin here, but I don't see it. I better start knocking on wood. The way I pressed them worked out perfect so far. And... Yep, they're still lining up correctly. The only thing on the, you know, sewing a web, sometimes you can't line up. Like if you end up with a nice thick point, you don't have time to flick it to make sure you don't cut off a point. 
Not like on the flying geese units. And where's my leader and ender? It took off. When, when I don't want to waste my thread. Now I open them up. And grab the next one. Because these are pressed the same way. I'm going to pull down the corner for sewing purpose. And then I'll have to repress the way that goes. Because you can take the time to do the switch at this point. It's easier. And then this one's the same thing. Nope, it lines up fine. You can't get all your seams to flip back and forth. Grab the next one. And the pinwheel ones all line up correctly. Because it is a pinwheel. Because they was all pressed in the same direction. And still everybody's chatting among them. Open up. Lay it out. This one goes here. And this is the one that's the same direction. So th this is where I have to pull it to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and press this one real fast. And Denise asking June how she is. And because I know it has the, the purple mountain. And I know the correct way of putting it back on here. got my mud stain from Miss Bailey. I go, what's on my pant leg? Oh, she's going to have green feet after I mow. Because she's going to be out there walking in the, in the fresh cut grass. I wonder if she'll wear socks. <laughs> I, I could see just putting the socks on her. She'd be ripping them off. Open this up again. This is your time for double checking. Before you sew the last row on. It's like this is how it looks so far. And everything looks right. We've got whites in the corner. Got the pur three purple mountains. So the whites are in the corner. So now I'll just sew these on. The, the webbing is the best way of not losing it. You can't lose a block if you web. But you can web sew pieces together wrong. Believe me, I did on that Swoon 16. And nobody did say, is my sewing machine too loud?
trying to find a way of suppressing the sound, but that doesn't always work either. I couldn't find anything in the settings. Okay. But I am glad for everybody that followed me today. And like I said, I will be here Monday. Unless something comes up. It's like I don't know what will come up. Because I told Alicia I couldn't babysit. And she's got to get some lab work and some stuff. And I didn't get to see Miss Alani when I was out there. The other day. Not on tomorrow. No, tomorrow's Gladys's day, June. Tomorrow's Gladys. The confident quilter. You guys will have Kathy up in the screen. So if you have any Kathy withdrawals. Okay. Hi, Sheila. And how's Miss Sheila Gage doing? You all packed ready for your trip and got it all planned? Wish I was going with you. And on these blocks, when I web, I do one one way. Hi, Samantha. And then the second row is the opposite direction. It, rather than trying to figure out a good method. One goes to the left, one goes to the right. Have you got the side-by-side -side going? Yeah, I got to go out and start that up, too. And Okay, Vicki, get ready and go home. She's having short rib, polenta, and carrots, ice cream, and applesauce, and two iced teas. It, get home and take it easy. Get home and take it easy. Okay. One more pressing. Last one went this way, so that one goes that way. Valerie, Sandra, will you post this block on Kathy's Facebook page after I finish? I will tell you in this video comments when I post it later. I hope you have... Fun babysitting. Okay. Kathy, can I post it on your Facebook page? I, I never thought about that part either. Because uh, I know I have it up here. Copy. It's like, I forgot all about that part. Okay. I posted, the link is right there right now for anybody that wants the kaleidoscope. That's what I'm going to call it now, the kaleidoscope block pattern. But it's Aunt Nancy's. Because I've seen a lot of different configurations a person could make. 
and we demonstrated quite a few. Oh, you've been on your details for your cruise. You got your... I seen you have your sunglasses for the eclipse. I did see that part. And this is kind of a subdivision of Kathy's, so you can post a picture on Kathy too if you want. Because it is part of Kathy still. It's an extension. Just like any we work we all work together. And I'm sure Kathy might get a few more subscribers. I I'm hoping. Because she seen that I had some different names than what she has. That cup of love. I forget who's the maker of that one. One row done. I know Mona's doing it. Ramona's doing it. Sheila's making it. Crystal Manning did the cup of love. Okay. I just know it's out there and several of the gals are doing it. Is that from on Mona's channel? Being it seems like it's mostly Mona's. That I see it on. And see. I can press this open as I go. It just makes it a little easier. One row at a time. Is better than trying to get all the rows to lay out flat for you later. And Mary's saying hi to Sheila. So, one thing about it, you get a voice and some hands here. <laughs> so, next I put the whole thing up on there. This is, I did find some Eclipse glasses at Home Depot. Okay. This is Aunt Nancy's with a spin. Or a twist. We can put the eye of the tornadoes in here. Yeah, my husband has welding glasses. But we didn't know about it until it was too late. But we also have a handheld welding shield. The other one I pinned the intersections. This one here I'm not taking the time. Because I don't normally pin. I normally position, press, so up to the, right there, position and get them all in position. And go again. I don't use pins a lot. And I always put my my press er, the sewing foot up so I don't accidentally hit the foot pedal and it goes. I don't know if it's a safety factor. Oh. Bobbin one. And of course I don't have another one. So I wind one real fast. 
And I just did the no-no. You're not supposed to pull your thread back up out of the needle. You're supposed to trim it and pull back through the needle. Now, don't do as I just did. It puts lint back up in there where you don't want it. And that one spool is just about empty up here. What are you whining about there, Miss Bailey? She's crying. Come here. Give it to me. I can't throw it if you don't give it to me. She took her stuffy outside yesterday and it got soaking wet in the rain. Okay, Tessa's got to go potty. Oh, does she got to go potty? The back door's open. She can go in and out if she wants. I blocked it where the wind can't even blow it. This thread I'm using is Mettler, and boy, do I get the little lint dust everywhere. Did your Eclipse glasses have an ISO certification number? And on the package, it, it did say, do not wear them with your regular glasses. I did not know that. I've never heard of that either. Boy, my welding would be terrible. Is it, Or is it because the... But that might be just because they're, do they say welder or do they say eclipse glasses? Am I freezing again? I could, it's like, they're in town working on different things. So I hope it's just a temporary. So you have to tell me if it's still breaking up, Mary. Not here. Everything is good. Okay. Okay. And there, there is no rush. The granddaughter is, I'm not rushing. It's like, she knows she has to work around mine if she wants a babysitter. Where is that leader? Whoops. I did look for the ISO number and there, there is one. Your glasses are purple? Woo! -hoo. Fancy. But don't get rid of them because there's going to be another eclipse someplace someday. Because our Eclipse glasses that they was giving out were just those paper ones like the old going to a 3D movie. 
go press this row. Was that your only color choice? So every time Sheila wears them, she'll think of Sandra's favorite color. Because I know it's not Sheila's favorite color. <coughs> and it says do not use with other optical devices and do not use for more than three minutes okay I'm on my last sew, Kathy. thing I was going to do next is fix those blue jeans while I wait for the lawn to dry because we had a lot of moisture yesterday. And, and as wet as Bailey's feet's coming in at, it's like it's definitely not ready to mow. So you just have to watch the clock, Sheila. When it when you know it's getting closer to that time, then put them on. Maybe that's why they're saying uh, welding glasses because they're designed to be on for a lot better length of time. Okay, there's the block. Your other pair is orange and yellow. Ooh, you you can go with all the times. Okay, I'm going to set it up. So at least you guys can see me at the end. And this is the block. And all we did, we turned the center. Thanks to Nancy saying pinwheel. And so that's the difference. We have a spin on Aunt Nancy's block. So I'm going to write Aunt Nancy's favorite with a spin. Is what I'm going to call it. And it's convenient how Nancy is the one that suggested this, the pinwheel. I could. Because... The, where these pads have to be patched is what my grandson-in-law says. The, the baby-making tools fall out. That's how he described his hole. Yeah, the total eclipse. But there's still going to be some other ones. But the overall stop sign shape is still there. It's just our, we have a better target if you target shooting on the stop sign. Instead of having a big open square, I like the, the pinwheel. Kathy has 612 now. Good job, Kathy. Tessa likes the pinwheel too. And that's just by switching and playing with my kaleidoscope like I was doing earlier. I just... And clue number two is done. I'm going to get foodies. Veggies for the pup. Okay. 
Yeah, I gotta do that too. Foodies. Beans, I'm gonna go babysit. I guess I'll go buy a Happy Meal on my way. Because I'm sure Miss Alani would love a Happy Meal. But that's the difference. We just took these four pieces, flipped them, and made a pinwheel. And Nancy is the one that suggested it. And so it fits. Aunt Nancy can change the pattern whenever she wants. <laughs> we can put that pun in there. But you guys was all looking at the different ones. Is there any other questions? I know Valerie wants me to go post on Kathy's. The link for the block and stuff. So I will. And then she's going to notify me through the comments in the YouTube later. But yes, yes, Nancy. And you're an aunt. You're an aunt somewhere, probably several times. And Gladys, Gladys's name gets spelled wrong quite often. Sometimes we have to wonder what some type. But that's Thursday block. Normally done on Kathy Quilts and Crafts. But today it's done on Sandra Kay's. And I want to thank everybody for attending. I'll see what I can do for Bailey before I take off. I don't know how long I'll be gone. She has to go do some lab work. Get some lab work done and pick up some stuff for the gender reveal cake on Saturday. But I'm glad everybody came over. So, yeah, because last Saturday, I guess, is when she went and had that done. And so it's just... If I can get it out of Alicia today. <laughs> it, but Cameron goes, Grandma, what do you think it's going to be? And I says, well, it just depends. It's like, I was always told that the when it's a boy, you keep your the girly shape. Because the boys want to go straight out ahead. I only have to travel five miles. It's a girl, says great aunt. So, Terry. Okay. They would like to have a boy first. So, I'm hoping that they have their boy first. If it's a girl, she's going to be the most spoiled ever. She's going to be wearing pink. You're always wrong. It's like, I give up trying to guess. My great-grandma was, she told me what all three of mine was going to be. It's like, so on Melinda, we had all pink. Ronnie being, she was supposed to be a Christmas baby, but ended up being Thanksgiving baby. She had a lot of red. I didn't even know they made red baby clothes. But I guess near the Christmas holiday, you can buy everything. Oh, she would be more spoiled in a lot of things. But yeah, Alani is spoiled. But she won't get away with that food thing that Alani won't eat. Certain foods and she, like the has to have. That kid, I hope, hates ranch dressing. I hope this one, because Emily drinks ranch dressing. But I will see everybody on Monday. Same time, 10 o'clock my time. And whatever up to 12 o'clock going across the, 1 o'clock going across the United States. So you figure your time zone. It's. 11.45 my time right now. So, I'll see you guys all on Monday. And 
just enjoy. Okay. Carrie, I'm waiting to see your next videos. And I will be there. But we'll see everybody later. Bye.